when do you want to farm? Don't think of going to competition with somebody. Just think of what you can do All right. within your confined environment. Okay. And then start with patience and determination and grow it. And you'll be there. You didn't have to think of an eye. You'll just be there and you'll be surprised. Hello, guys. I told you I am going to visit a farm and I'm in Dongazi's farm. Hello, Dongazi. Yeah. Charlie. That's one. Uh, your farm. We are here finally. Yes. Uh, I can see you have a lot of things over here. Oh. And I know this is a tilapia farm. farm. Not only in tilapia. Only to tilapia only farming. Tilapia. All right. So there are lots of things happening in this farm. Um, I'd like to first of all ask you, um, how did you start fish farming? Um, I started fish farming right after my uni. I was introduced by um, two friends. So we started, and that is how the whole thing started. So just friends, just let's, friends, let's do friends. Fish. Let's just because after school, unemployment around that time was uh, uh, a problem. So uh, we also thought of how we can be self-employed. Not so okay. we, we try to encourage ourselves by going to fish farming because we are from the coast. So we decided that well, fish farming would be the best um, venture that we will go into it. So that's how the whole thing started. And in what year? In what year? And that was with the discussion was on um, that was 2009. That was when we were having a discussion. 2009. Yes. Okay. So the implementation was uh, 2010. 2010. Yes, 2010. So you started fish farming in 2010. Yeah. That's about 13 years now. Yes. Okay. So you came to this place. And then there's the river, there's all of this. Uh, how did you start? Like, Well, I, I, I didn't come here right from the scratch. I, I started from uh, a friend's place okay. that is around Tefle. Okay. I started there. And it, you know, it taught me a lesson that I have to acquire my own place, yeah. um, which I did. Um, I, actually, this is the second place. The the second place. Yes, this is the first, uh, second place. The first place is still under operation. We are still uh, using it for production. And this is the second place. And this is where we moved our hatchery to uh, because of the nature of the land. It's okay. sandy clay. Yeah. So we wanted to excavate ponds. And that's how we came here. OK. How, how many ponds did you start with? I started with uh, 13 by 20 meter square pond. Okay. So, but now we have extended it, and that's okay. how we started. And we're doing there were bush stocks in it, fingerlings in it, everything. We're doing it in it. Okay. So as time goes on, we started expanding. Okay. Yeah, so currently we are running with three. Okay. Ten ponds. Okay. So um, after looking at the entire place, right, right behind me, I can see a madhouse. And normally when we see a madhouse, it looks like one of the oldest things in the farm. Uh, what is this doing over here? Wow. This is a history, you know. This this, this is what makes Dongazi Dongazi today. Mm. We started with this structure. This is our first structure? Our first structure. Wow. Yes. And it's, it's a structure that I, I really don't want to demolish. Yeah. I want to keep it as a history. Uh, because... When we started, we were sitting, we used to sit under the tree. Okay. We feed my two workers. The rain will beat us, the sun is will be scorching us. So we decided to put up the man house. That is what our money can afford at that time. And what were the structures like? Was there an office? Like, yeah, what? it's two rooms one for feed, one for office, one as a um, storeroom. Sometimes right. we even sleep there okay. uh, overnight. Okay. And when the weather the sun is shining, it is raining, we make use of it. And we've used this structure for about five years and we're still using it. We're still using yes, it. we are still using it. Mm. Okay, that's <laughs> nice, that's nice. We are still um, using it. Also, um, I can see that you have other structures, structures. Yes. in this place. Yes. Um, so it means you've taken time to do this gradually yes right so the next structure i can see can you can you walk us through your basic setup yes my, my next structure is the one just we are facing 
Okay. Yeah. This, this. But one secret thing about fish farming is patience. It's patience, right? Patience and determination. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just have to make sure that your steps are well calculated. So after this structure, then we went to this. Uh, the, the engine room. Engine room, yeah. And then the next one, the one at, 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 at follows it, is the laboratory. You have a lab. Yes. You have. This, we, this we, is this is the, nice. The, the, the mindset or the concept is that we want our workers to understand what is going on. Because this fish farming is a science-based uh, activity. Activity. Yeah. I, I can see they are doing something at the bank. What are they doing over there? Right now, currently, we are doing transfer. Transfer of uh, of fingerlings into the cage. Into the cages. Yes. No, okay. Which so we do daily. All right. Every single day. Yes. We even did one in the morning, very early in the morning. Okay. And then this time too, we are doing. All right. Because our policy here is, when a cage is empty, we stop. You have to fill it. So yes. anytime, anytime there is a, an yes, empty cage, we have you have to. Stop to stop. So there are two buckets, and I can see that there are some two white stuff all around it. The, uh, these are erasing. Yeah, okay, this erators to, to pump in a lot of oxygen, o transfer them. Transfer them. In this this is how it is. So with a stone on it. Yeah, yeah. it will pump the oxygen pump into it. This. No, okay. No, okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, okay, this is strong. This is very yeah, strong. But, yeah. What do we have here? I can see. Yes. What we do is that um, the ponds. The ethylene ponds now are used for nursery. Nursery? Yes. From the fry stage, when we do the uh, first grading in the WT, we move them here. WT the is? Withholding tank. Withholding we'll, tank, we'll okay. There. Then from there, we move it to here. Okay. And then feed it for a couple of times. Yeah. Or month, um, weeks. Okay. Before, when we are ready to move it, then we move then it. Then we do the there. process of trans transferring, transferring them. From here. To the yes, other to the previous, the respective tank. Um, have a lot of nets. Cage. Yes. So, so in, in in a place like this, like how many um, the, approximately uh, fingerlings, I should say? Yes. Should, are we looking at approximately in this particular setup? The total, uh, I may I may not be, but what happens is that each hopper uh, of this stage of this size is taking about fifty thousand. Wow! Uh, yes. A like half like this takes yes, 50,000. 50, oh, amazing. Yes. Amazing. But the smaller ones, they take about 30,000. No! Wow! The half are 24. Eight. I think 24. 24. Oh, but the big ones, they are about, uh, about 8 or so. No, okay. About eight. Okay. Yes. It means even in this space, you can produce over 450,000 fingerlings. Yes. I mean, managing them over yes. here from time to time. Isn't that a lot? Um, our, our production, we, we even do more than that. But averagely, I can see here we we, we managing that. But when we take from the hatchery, we do about between 2.5 to 3 million fries. Every? Every month. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. So what we bring here, after the grading, those that are shooters or the, those that are older, we move them quickly. Okay. So the ones that are, are like 0 0.1, we bring them here. Here yeah, to spend to some time go to go a little, a little bit before, before we move them into there. Them to uh, so those are point 0.3, we quickly move them into the river because of space. Space. We oh. lacking space. Okay. Uh, okay. If we have space, we prefer to reserve them here. For hold them before we send them to the river. All right, so um, I can see that you have a lot of very big fish over here. Uh, what is this tank for? These are blue stocks. Oh, okay. These are blue stocks. So you can see the BT. BT. BT 10. Yeah. So this is uh, this is tank 10 uh, for blue stock. Okay. Um, so we have about um, 20 of this. Wow. This. Yes, we have five in this stretch, five there, and then f 10 at the new site. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So okay. we running uh, 4,000 blue stocks. But currently we are around 3,300 blue stocks. Wow. Yeah, that's what we are using. And, and, and blue stocks are basically 
going to be feeding, 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 yes. but they hold the farm. Uh, so, so looking at um, fish farming, right? Right from your farm, there is from the the hatchery fry level all the way to the grow house level, yeah. and then you have your bush stock. Yes. Uh, which of the processes is very tedious? Wow. It's in two folds. Okay. The hatchery and production. Where it is difficult is when you're handling the fries. Okay, so fry fries care. Handling. Fry care. Yes. Fry care. Yes. That is the area which is, is um, difficult. And another difficult one in fries and in hatchery operation is the egg collection. Egg handling. I, when, when we went inside there, I saw that you had this book where I saw like everything from 2019, 2020, 2021. You take your record so seriously, eh? I was just wondering <laughs> if, if, if someone wants to do fish farming, right? And looking at what you are doing over here now, uh, how do you monitor what's happening in your farm? And I think the data can help yeah, you. It's, it's a lot about data, you see. When you want to farm, don't think of going to competition with somebody. Just think of what you can do All right. within your confined environment. Okay. And then start with patience and determination and grow it. And you'll be there. You will not think of an eye. You'll just be there and you'll be surprised. Okay, so we are surrounded with a lot of tanks. Yeah. We've already seen the bush stock tanks. And then I'm seeing WT, FT. And I'm seeing F. What's happening? Oh, I is happening. From the BT, yeah. we come to the FT, okay. the, or the F, which is the fries holding tank. Oh, okay. So, so we, we label price. it for easy identification. Yeah. Uh, so that is the purpose of uh, the FTs. Okay. And then the WT is where we do our first grading after the 21 days. Okay, so after 21 we days, you we can grade, it. grade them yes. to different, different two sizes. sizes. Two sizes. We have the point 0.1 and then the point 0.3. Yeah. These circular tanks you yeah. see here, they hold the, um, the shooters. When we collect, when we are doing price collection, yeah. the, the, the old ones, the ones collect them, quicker. grade it, and then store them here okay. and feed them for a while before we send them into uh, the nursery. We are doing a lot. Um, I want us to now go to the cage, the cage where you have your cage. Okay. Just uh, give us one or two things over there as well. Yes, the cage we it's into blocks. Block. Uh, so you like blocks. We have blocks. Okay. Yes. So the number varies. We have some blocks thirty, some blocks twenty six, some blocks to uh, six. So it's not that uniform. But the concept is that they will end up having to, uh, equal number of cages oh, that's in nice. each block. That's nice. Yes. That's so nice. that is currently we are running six of that uh, blocks okay. on, on the river. Okay. Yes. So so um, when it comes to aquaculture, it's like you are doing all of the things in aquaculture. What I mean by that is you have the earthing pond. Yeah. We have the tarpaulin pond. Okay, yes. And then we have the cage. The cage quarters. As well. <laughs> and I can even see some concrete-like structures too as well. Yes. This, this, this farm is doing every single thing when it comes to aquaculture. And I'll tell you that, Dongazi, I am so proud. Uh, the last thing I would like to ask you is if there's anybody watching you, um, what would be your final words to that person? Either the person is into aquaculture, or the person has the passion to enter into aquaculture, what are your last words for such a person? Um, aquaculture business is, is a good venture. What I would tell you, especially a beginner, is to be patient. Patience. And be determined. It comes with its own challenges. I remember there was one time, I read, especially the beginning, I, I worked asking myself why, why why do i have to put myself into distress after school but today here i am 40 people are relying on uh, 40 people are relying on me so you can do it but be patient okay. and be determined okay. Charlie, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity god bless you that's my welcome okay and thanks so much for coming